Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Shane Cooper and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about why you should start a trades business. Before I get into that, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. So I've been running a multi-million dollar roofing company for the past five years. And I've learned a few things along the way that I wanted to share with you and why I think the trades business is so good to get into. Whether that's plumbing, roofing, electrical, exteriors, you know, the list goes on. Number one, low barrier to entry. Now, this may be seen as a negative to some people. I see it as a positive. If you can start a business with a small amount of capital and minimal skill set, then it's very easy to get started. If you don't enjoy it, if it doesn't work out, then you can always move on to something else. There isn't a huge initial investment involved in time or money to actually get started in the business. So I think that's a huge plus when you're looking at any opportunity out there. Now you could also look at the other side of the spectrum where there may be a lot of people in the space because of how easy it is to enter. I'm going to cover a few things later. I kind of counteract this argument, at least in the trade space. Number two, the demand for trades companies is increasing. We are developing more homes. Our real estate market is growing and this requires more trades companies. With the pandemic that hit, there are a lot of people that are focusing more on their homes for renovations. You know, this includes redoing your roof, updating your electrical, changing out hot water tanks. There's a high demand and that demand is growing for trades company. Now, I believe in the trades industries, there will never be a shortage of work. We are always going to continue to develop our neighborhoods. We're going to continue to build. We're going to continue to update. Everyone wants to keep up with the Joneses as well as grow the real estate market. For example, if you're in any major city, there continues to be more development in Canada and the US for new homes, new apartment buildings, new developments, we are continuing to grow. And as we grow, we require more people to complete the work. If we have high demand for the work and that demand is growing, that results in a business that's sustainable and continues to grow. Number three, trades businesses are recession and pandemic proof. This means anything happens that's out of the ordinary, that changes how we're operating. Roofing companies, plumbing companies, electricians, exteriors, those will still be required. We can't simply halt construction projects that are in progress. That would be a big shift to our economy and our government doesn't want that to happen. If people are confined to their homes, then they're more likely to complete projects that improve the quality of their home. So that includes things like a new roof, new siding or exteriors, new windows, new fixtures, renovations. Now, when it comes to trade businesses, some people may only focus on the necessities. And this would include roofing, foundation, framing, windows, siding. These are all critical components of a home that need to be maintained no matter what is happening in the world. So if you're running a trades business, especially one that focuses on the necessities of a building, you're going to be in a very good spot. Number four, younger people aren't as interested in trades with a lot of younger generations not interested in running a plumbing company or an electrical company. This means the older generations will be running the company. As they become older, they will be phased out of the business. They will retire. They will sell their company. And that leaves a gap in the marketplace where there aren't many younger people that are getting into the industry. Now let, let's be realistic. How many 20 year olds, how many 18 year olds are thinking to themselves, I would like to become a plumber or I would like to install siding or gutters. I would say a very small amount. If we look at a lot of the owners of trades companies, they are mostly in the older generation. They're mostly 35, 40 plus to 60 plus. 
And this leaves a huge gap in the marketplace because a lot of these older owners of these companies are going to be looking to sell or retire in the future. And if young people aren't getting into the trades, this also creates a gap. This creates a huge opportunity if you are younger and you are interested in getting into the trades, that you can start a company and grow it to a large scale. Number five, the average job size of a roofing project is typically anywhere from 10 to 15,000. Now this is number five. Trades typically have high average job size. So the typical roofing project will be anywhere from 10 to 20,000 on the residential side. Our average job size last year was 17,000. And this isn't limited to roofing. Plumbing projects are likely higher than that. If you're focusing on new homes, um, painting, siding, you know, there's a lot of different avenues you can go. Number five, large average job size. So when it comes to the size of each project, an average for roofers will be in the $15,000 range. For plumbers, maybe in the 30, 40, even $50,000 range. If you're focusing on new construction, plumbing on new homes, these ticket volumes are very large compared to other industries. Now, there may be an argument based on that the projects are lower profit. Number five, high average job size. So in roofing, electrical, plumbing, we typically have average job sizes between 15 to 30,000 for the residential side. This equates to 30 to 40% in gross profit. And at the end of the day, we're looking at anywhere between 10 to 20% in gross profit. Now you might be thinking that isn't a whole lot. You have to keep in mind, it will take a short amount of time to build a million dollar roofing company or plumbing company because of how large the average job sizes are. And with more demand coming into the market, this will allow us to spend lower amounts on marketing. With more demand in the market, our marketing costs are lower. So this results in a higher net profit. Now guys, I hope this was helpful. These are my top five reasons for starting a trades business in 2022.